This is Tanner Whitney's Discovery Project, 2012, Procedure. Preparation. Step 1. Open the closable bin. Step 2. Using the dry erase marker, write top on one of the shorter sides of the box and bottom on the opposite side. Step 3. Cut a length of string to 8 centimeters. Step 4. Hold down one end of the string and hold the black dry erase marker at the other end, using it to make four half circles around the perimeter of the bin at intervals of 30 centimeters. Step 5. Using the string, draw one full circle in the approximate center of the bin. Step 6. Using the scissors, cut each piece of paper to a width of 16 centimeters and tape them in their separately labeled areas. Step 7. Make sure that you are using the correct manipulated variables, such as one sheet of red paper, one sheet of blue paper, one sheet of yellow paper, and one sheet of green paper. Step 8. When doing this experiment, make sure that all the controlled variables remain constant. See the experimental design diagram for a complete list of controlled variables. Execution. Step 1. Put on rubber gloves. Step 2. Open the mason jar and carefully open the bag of crickets. Step 3. Pour the crickets into the jar while counting to ensure that only 24 crickets enter the jar at one time. Step 4. Carefully lower the jar into the center of the bin within the circle that you drew earlier. Slowly flip the jar over so as not to injure any crickets and open it into the circle, releasing them. Step 6. Begin the timer immediately or if possible, simultaneously, and wait for five minutes. After five minutes, count how many crickets are in each half circle and how many are not in any circle. Step seven, record these numbers in your data table. Remove your gloves and put on a new pair. Step eight, collect all of the crickets carefully using a cupping motion with your hand and capture them and drop them all back in the jar. Step nine, repeat execution steps number five through eight thrice to complete all of the trials necessary to get correct data.